What makes me coffee cat, sad, annoyed or slightly vexed? This is a list I made because I think these things need to be addressed. These are the things I really don't like. Closed doors to bathrooms, when you're in there. On most occasions when my mummy or daddy cat are in the bathroom, they don't close the door right up. There's usually room for me to push my way in and visit. I don't understand the concept of needing privacy, at any time, and on those rare occasions the door is actually closed, I will sit outside miserably until they come out. Closed windows, even when it's freezing cold. I don't like cold weather, but even more than that, I don't like closed windows or when the sliding door to the balcony is closed. I will loudly howl until said glass barrier is opened for me, but then because it's so cold I'll only be outside in the courtyard for 30 seconds. Heaven forbid that the window be closed though. Running out of treats. If we ran out of treats I would be extremely sad. I have the very high expectation that I will receive my favorite treat, every morning and every night, at about the same time. I remember once in particular when Daddy Cat did a special run to the store just to get my treats. That was very good as I am a self-confessed treat addict. Not playing with a pink fish often enough. If I sit, staring longingly, at either Mummy Cat or Daddy Cat, with my pink fish plonked before them, they will usually end up playing with me. On occasions I have been forced to give up in disgust. It usually is due to one electronic device or another the television, the laptop, a phone or even the tablet. I wonder if I could take away all those irritating devices and hide them. Visitors? It's no secret that I don't like anyone in the house except for mummy and daddy cat, and sometimes I would prefer to be alone altogether. Over time I have got used to the girl, who is quite obviously the offspring of mummy cat. They look, sound and smell quite similar to each other. She's growing on me and I tolerate her. Thankfully she doesn't live here and she goes away each time, after a while. Maintenance men or any stranger. Okay, this is something I really don't like. Sometimes, thankfully not too often, someone will knock on the front door, toolbox in hand, needing to look at or fix something. They're always noisy and I don't know them. They are complete strangers in my home and I don't like it at all. Not being allowed to chew electric cords. I like the feel of a chewy electrical cord between my teeth. I like the slight buzzing sound that only a cat can hear, because we have such amazing hearing. They also have a small vibration about them too. Anyway, it seems that my people don't want me to chew on them, not any of them. I don't understand why. I mean, they're just laying around, begging to be not on. When I get caught doing this, there's an immediate no word in the humans, as much as I love them, annoy me by taking away my fun. These are my current listed complaints, irritations and concerns.